Hello and welcome to my channel. Please check out the description and click the link to place an order if you wish to buy Instant Pot Dew Crisp. Before starting, support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to this channel for future updates. In late 2019, Instant Pot combined two of the most popular kitchen appliances of the past decade into one hulking machine. The Instant Pot Dew Crisp a Hybrid Electric Pressure Cooker and Air Fryer. We don't love standalone air fryers, but we are big fans of the Instant Pot, so we wanted to see if this combination of the appliances was worthwhile. The Instant Pot Dew Crisp is a huge machine. It comes in only an 8-quart size, whereas we recommend a 6-quart electric pressure cooker for most people. It comes with two different lids, one for pressure cooking and one for air frying. Both functions work as they're supposed to. But we don't think the Dew Crisp is as convenient for pressure cooking as the Instant Pot Dew or Ultra our favorite electric pressure cookers, or as effective for air frying as a convection toaster oven. The Dew Crisp fundamentally works as both a pressure cooker and an air fryer and is genuinely useful for making one-pot meals. It can pressure cook a whole chicken, until tender and then brown the skin afterward or heat up a small batch of frozen fries faster than an oven. After pressure cooking a whole chicken atop a bed of carrots and potatoes in the Dew Crisp, we were able to brown the exposed skin in 7 minutes using the air fryer lid on the roast setting. Compared with chickens we've cooked in other air fryers, this chicken browned much more evenly, although it wasn't as deeply golden as chicken roasted in an oven or a convection toaster oven. The meat was succulent, while the vegetables underneath turned out tender and even caramelized in places, if a little overcooked. The result wasn't quite as good as traditional French chicken in a pot, which would be more flavorful after a longer cooking time and gentler reduction. But we'd gladly eat this comforting one-pot meal again. The Dew Crisp also did a fair job cooking a steak after we played around with the cooking process. It didn't produce a dark sear like the kind you get from a scorching hot pan, but that makes sense. Air doesn't conduct heat well. Our New York Strip steak was pale, gray, and undercooked after roasting for the recommended 12 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. But the color deepened once we stuck it on the included broiler tray and broiled it for 5 minutes and the steak turned out delicious and juicy. The Dew Crisp is relatively well designed. You can easily grab the removable air fryer basket with oven mitts when you need to toss the food inside. We also like that you can fit an 8-inch cake pan in the Dew Crisp. If you're inclined to bake with it, most dedicated air fryers we've tested can fit only a 6-inch pan. We made a Duncan Hines cake in the Dew Crisp, and although it needed double the time indicated on the cooking chart, it emerged with an even moist and tender crumb. While the air fryer lid is heavy, we appreciate that it's fully detachable, which makes the Dew Crisp a lot easier to clean and move around the kitchen than the Ninja Foodie. While air frying, the Dew Crisp was also quieter than the Foodie and a lot of other air fryers we've tested. We barely noticed the sound of the fan. The Instant Pot Dew Crisp and air fryer looks simple with its trademark stainless steel exterior, LCD display, and streamlined touch control pad. Of course, the main differences are the two separate lids, pressure cooker and air fryer, that automatically swap over the wet and dry functions. The 8-quart size provides a generous capacity for families or handling large quantities. However, it is quite large and bulky, particularly once the air fryer lid is on, measuring 14.8 by 14.2 by 14.2 inches. What's more, if you have low-hanging cabinetry, the top of the air fryer lid might not have enough clearance, so bear this in mind. In any case, if you only have small quantities or limited space, it may be worthwhile opting for the 6-quart capacity. The touch control panel shows the standard programs such as slow cook, pressure cook, sot, steam, and sous vide. In addition, it has a specific line for the air fryer functions such as air fry, grill, roast, bake, and dehydrate. You can manually adjust the temperature and cooking duration using the buttons on either side of the LCD display. The dry cook functions can be set to a temperature between 84 degrees Celsius to 204 degrees Celsius, while the wet cook functions offer high or low temperatures. If you're after a versatile 2-in-1 multi-cooker and air fryer combo. The Instant Pot Dew Crisp and Air Fryer has got you covered. Not only does it have 11 cooking functions to suit every need, but transforms into a handy air fryer at just the switch of a lid. What's more, this makes a great space saver for those who don't want to splash out on buying several appliances. However, the cooker is bulky and you will need storage space to house the two lids and accessories that come with it. Space aside, the Instant Pot Dew Crisp and Air Fryer performs well at its main functions such as pressure cooking, but you may need to experiment a few times with the steaming and air frying settings. Overall, if you need a versatile multi-cooker that happens to have an air fryer, the Instant Pot Dew Crisp and Air Fryer will do a good job. I was particularly impressed with the salt program as it was able to brown onions and sear meat on a high heat for about 5 minutes. After throwing in all of my other ingredients, 
I press the pressure cook button twice to set the temperature to either low, normal, or high, which is set at 239 degrees Fahrenheit to 245 degrees Fahrenheit. After 035 on a high temperature, it resulted in a tender and very tasty meat casserole. On the other hand, steaming broccoli and green beans were not as successful. While the official website recommends a 3-minute cooking time, it still takes 7 minutes to preheat. As a result, the majority of beans were overcooked with a soft and soggy texture. Results seem the same on a few tries, despite reducing the water content. You may need to manually experiment with timings to suit your tastes. I was most excited about the air fryer function and began with a batch of my trusted French fries. Once you place the air fryer lid on with a twist and walk. Simply press the air fry button, which automatically sets it for 15 minutes at 204 degrees. It takes about 2 minutes to preheat and you also have the option of manually changing the cooking time and temperature. After about 7 minutes, the cooker prompts you to turn over food to ensure an even crisp. What do you think about our video? Tell us in the comment section below. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then feel free to mention them in the comment section, and we will surely respond to your request. Please check out the description and click the link to place an order if you wish to buy Instant Pot Dew Crisp. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel.